Hey, bookworms! Cam McAdam here. Time for another gathering here at the Library Book Club. We're at the end of the month of love, and yeah, don't expect me to. Wait a minute. Hey, Mouse Me? What's up? What is this? I thought we were trying to read books we haven't read, or it's been so long you should reread it to remember. You remember this one. What the heck? I technically didn't have time this month. But I still want to do something, and it's a book that's still worth talking about. Especially since the author is still coming out with more books. Fine. By chance, do you think you'll ever have my mouth move again? Maybe. A at some point I will. I'll, I'll add it to my list of projects. Fine, good enough. Hey, bookworms! Cam McAdam here. As I said, this was the month of love, and the closest you're ever going to get me to read a romance novel is a YA one. A fictional one. With vampires. And no, it's not Twilight. It's marked. by the mother-daughter duo, PC Cast and Kristen Cast, they have written many books over the years and worth reading as well. But this is the one that got me into their work, and still trying to catch up with it. So yes, this is another young adult book that has vampires and humans as main species. But the difference is that they are known in the universe. They aren't hiding behind the shadows, and the way you can tell if they are a vampire is more noticeable than sparkly. And there's a boarding house for vampires. Right, let's get right into it. Starts off with a 16-year-old teenager named Zoe Montgomery talking to her friend at school about the typical things you find in books. Her drunk quarterback almost boyfriend, the football game that is the most important thing of their lives because they finally beat the rival team they've been losing to for almost two decades. Because that's so original. And her crappy mother and stepfather. Then, in the middle of the day, after school was over and she was talking to her friend Kayla, a vampire appeared. How did she know? The vampires in this book have a blue crescent moon on their forehead and some intricate tattoos along on their face. Yeah, they don't bite in this in order to turn you into a vampire. It's magic. This one in particular is called a tracker. Basically, their goddess Nyx tells the tracker Who's next? They go, cast a spell, and point at them. Thus, they are marked. I'd say roll credits, but we all know there's more. So, yes, Zoe is marked, which the feeling sounds about as bad as if she was actually bitten. Pain. Lots of pain. Mostly in the forehead. But either way, she is now a fresh-fledging vampire and has to go attend to that private school that just happens to be in the town of Tulsa. Not very far from her town, Broken Arrow. Well, gee, that's convenient. But at least it's where they'll help her survive the change. Yeah, she has to be there for a few years while she goes through the change. 
There is no insta change into vampire here. If she survives it. If not, she'll die. Honestly, I don't hate it. At least it's different. A good different. Though her friend, almost boyfriend, mother, and hateful stepfather wouldn't have agreed as her friend ran the second she got the chance, her almost boyfriend and company were cruel to her, her mother blamed her for it, and her very religious stepfather wanted to keep her, just so they could present her to a religious anti-vampire group. I'm guessing they're species? Zoe, though, ends up running away and going to her Cherokee grandmother from Zoe's mother's side. Honestly, her grandmother is awesome. She's the only one that doesn't turn Zoe away. Though, before she could reach her grandmother, she passes out and has a vision of Nyx herself to be the eyes and ears for her at the house of the night. Get it? That's the name of the series, and the name of the school. When she woke up, she was with her grandma, Sylvia Redbird, at the school. Only thing is, fledgling's marks is an outline. Zoe's isn't. Hers is filled, as if she's been changed for years. Now, besides all of this, the things that are still a normal vampire is sunlight does hurt, doesn't kill them, but they are stronger during night, and they still need blood. Meaning, in speaking with the high priestess, Neferet, Grandma was promised by Neferet that Zoe is safe and will be well taken care of, as well as be Zoe's mentor, as it was normal for adult vamps to be mentors to fledglings. From this point on, it's... Normalish school stuff. Classes start at night. Sleep during the day. Cats will choose you to be their humans. Vampires are gifted by the goddess. Rituals and such. You know. Normal stuff. Oh, and because it's a start of a new life, fledglings can change their names. So Zoe is now Zoe Redbird, which is cool. Who wants to be stuck with a name they don't like for all eternity? In the month that she had been there, she made friends with four others. Stevie Ray, Zoe's roommate, Damien, Aaron, and Shawnee, each with her own affinity to an element. Zoe has all five, fire, air, water, earth, and spirit. Just as well, she meets the mean girl of the school, Aphrodite. Of course, there's more in the ending. It certainly shows that Zoe is oddly powerful than normal fledglings would be. But I don't want to spoil it. It doesn't seem too exciting, but as you read the rest of the books, You'll see that the way this book ended was for a very good reason. It shows just how important it was for Zoe's journey to start like this in this book. The book is written a bit differently, but it is an easy read. Still well written, and if you're a teenager reading it, you could relate a little. And if you're an adult like me, you'll find the fun in it. With that said... Today's book is now done. Go out there and find a world within the pages of a good book. See you next time here at the library. Catch you later, bookworms. Hey, you guys. If you enjoyed listening to these book reviews, then click that like button. Want to hear more? Want to listen to some weird high school announcements as well as see new segments start up? Then hit that subscribe button. I also have a new store out and a Patreon if you are interested in supporting this little channel. I also want to thank my Patreon for sticking by me since I started on Patreon. You need to go check her stuff out as well as her Twitch channel. 
All links will be in the description below. And want to know when these come out? Then hit that bell. But do it quietly. We're in the library. Till next time, you guys. Catch you later, bookworms.